I hope you all are doing amazing. So today we got Kizar, our friend. He has his BMW 2018 540i. We're gonna do a quick review on it and talk about some of the mods. So we've done a review on an M4 on the channel before, so I kind of want to do something different and get more sedan, more on the luxury side of a vehicle. So this is not an M series, it's just the 540i, not M5, no M series at all. So comparing this to the M series is very different. Obviously, it's a lot more luxurious. Although it's like more of a family vehicle, we'll take a look at the interior in a second. It still has that touch of sportiness, which is awesome. If any of you guys are owners of this car or any 5 Series, hit him up. He'll definitely give you advice for it. What's going on, guys? This is Kazar um, or Racertainment. Y'all can follow me on there. Uh, today, I'll just give you a brief walk around on my 2018 540i. One of the first things that I wanted to do is uh, change the look of the wheels. So I went with uh, four star F14s. Um, and this is a staggered setup. Um, you can obviously see on the front is less concave than the rear. If you look at the rear, it's more concave than the front. Um, also, I'm on lowering springs, uh, so I'm on H&R springs, uh, which is like about a 1.8 uh, drop, 1.8 inches of a drop, and I like it because the stance is way better. I'm also on a staggered setup, so it fits better. Uh, also, done some cosmetic things like a roof wrap. I also have an exhaust. Now, something that's very different is uh, a lot of people always ask what I did with the exhaust because I don't have an M Sport, so a lot of people are wondering how did I get quad tips on my non-M Sport. Um, if you can take a look on, on the on the exhaust, I have quad t uh, quad tips on the setup, and uh, it is straight pipe. And a lot of people are wondering how to do it. You can fit it with a non M Sport bumper, and I did it. And a lot of people like it. I've gotten a lot of compliments, and it sounds pretty good too. We'll put a sound clip in there. intake and uh, a stage one uh, tune from Dyna Performance. I actually worked at BMW so they were able to do that for me while, co while covered under warranty. Now I know there's other tuning companies out there but I wanted to go with that one because of the warranty uh, and whatnot and I wanted to keep that. Alright so hopping into the interior of the 540i obviously you can tell it's very luxurious. You got the ambient lighting here which you can change the colors of, leather seats, controllable, Back seat room is huge. Obviously in a five series you're gonna get that. And one thing that I thought was cool, and this is just coming from a car that has had like no tech. I'm sure you guys know this, but seat belts, when you put it on, like hugs you like automatically. I thought that was pretty cool. What's your favorite feature interior wise about your So car? I like that that seatbelt hugging thing. Everyone gets, you know, everyone gets really excited over that because they're like, what the heck? You know, I just got a hug. Yeah, because my car loves you and it, and it loves you for you to be inside of it, you know? <laughs> but other than that, what I love is the interior lighting. And um, me, I feel like now after all the technology that's been going on with cars, I need a car with ambient lighting because it just changed the whole changes the whole experience. You know, it makes you feel like you're in a spaceship rather than an actual car. I like that, and I also like how you can also put on a sport display. So when you're uh, doing runs with other vehicles, uh, and you know, I can see my my horsepower, my torque, and um, it basically shows your power readout. And that's this is you know this is from factory as well. So other than that, I like. You know, it's very, very hard to find things that I dislike about the car. There's a, there's a lot of things that I like about it. Awesome, awesome. Uh, right now it's sitting at 438 um, uh, pound-feet torque and 415 horsepower roughly and that's with the stage one tune um, and with the intake as well how much does it come with from factory uh, around 330 okay, cool. stock mm -hmm. it's a three liter inline uh, six and it's not a twin turbo it's a twin it's a single turbo twin scroll uh, turbo what kind of intake is it it's a BMS intake so that's basically burger motorsports um, and it's just like an intake air filter. It makes a nice sound. All right, tell me what your favorite thing about this car is. Um, to be honest, man, it is actually my daily driver, right? And there's honestly no other ba uh, better daily driver than this because um, when it wants to be, it can be a family hauler or, you know, a nice good drive on the highway. Um, and then when you put it in Sport Plus mode, it completely turns into a different animal. You know, it stiffens the suspension and the steering gets stiffer. 
Um, so my favorite thing is just the drive of it on a daily driver basis and then the power that it uh, outputs, you know, when I need it. Um, and yeah, that's one of the things I love about it. Obviously the interior is very nice. I love the ambient lighting. Me, I need to listen to my music, so I have to have a good stereo system. Uh, so it's perfect for daily driving. dislike about your vehicle one thing i dislike is uh, obviously there's other cars out there that have more power because of the weight you know and since mine's a five series not it doesn't you know compete with the same engine on a low on a lower uh, model car like a 340 or you know or m3 even uh, because of the weight right so i feel like the, that's one thing for me but that's what i get uh, for having more space and having a big body um, you know you just get more weight and you sure the power is there but it's not delivered to its full potential because of the size of the vehicle and what it's really meant for. It's not really meant for racing unless you get the M5. Um, so that's that'd be one thing. But other than that, it's very hard to find things that I hate about this car. What other cars were you looking at when you decided on this one? Um, I was I was you know I was looking at a different um, a different five uh, a different sedan actually like a Mercedes Benz E Class. Um, now while the interior is very nice on the E Class and the you know the E53s and the e, E300 or E400 whatever it is. Um, the driving feel wasn't there. With BMW, you feel very involved with the driving, you know, dynamics of it, and you feel like you're in control. Um, so that's why I kind of chose this over Mercedes because Mercedes is more boaty. This makes me feel more, feel more involved as far as driving and on the road and throttle. So that's why I chose BMW. But yeah, guys, overall, this car is beautiful. I mean, even with the stock wheels, I feel like this car is an amazing looking car, especially for a sedan that's just a luxurious family type vehicle. Looks really, really good. Obviously, the interior is super nice, and then you get somewhat performance as well. So, I feel like it's a good bang for your buck overall type of looking car. It's pretty dope. All right, bro, you got any closing thoughts? You want to close us out? Um, just be safe. We hope that y'all are safe, your family is safe, and you know, stay cruising. So, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. We're going to be uh, doing some more content soon. so. Keep me updated, keep me posted actually on my pages and that way uh, me and Stock Boys will do some more collabs, do some more mods and hopefully some races, you never know. So thank you for tuning in. If you guys have any questions, I'll link his Instagram and YouTube channel, Racertainment. Hit him up and for any BMW questions. Other than that bro, close it out. Do the hand thing.